depictions of General Ulysses S. Grant and General Robert E. Lee by Michael McDonald. The purpose of this video is to give those of you viewing an overview of the historical significance regarding publicly displayed images of General Ulysses S. Grant of the Union and General Robert E. Lee of the Confederacy. The following images of these two generals greatly influenced their reputation during the time of the American Civil War era. The first image is titled, General Grant and His Family, and is located on the Library of Congress website. In this particular image of program propaganda, General Grant, along with his family, can be seen in an angelic environment reflecting Christian values as well as well-cultured values. Notice in the background of the image pictures hanging on the wall. These pictures show a sense of honor and tradition reflecting General Grant's family comes from a family of traditional values. Notice the daughter toward the right side of the image playing the piano. This shows that the family takes pride in the culture of the arts. Notice General Grant, the central figure of the image, holding a book in his right hand. The presence of the book gives the impression that Grant and his family take a high priority on knowledge and education. The second image I would like to focus on is an image from the Library of Congress titled Robert E. Lee at Chancellorsville, released on May 2nd, 1863. The first point of interest that stands out in this image is General Lee himself being the central figure of the image, and the Confederate flag standard just off to the right. This has significance due to the flag's elevation versus the mounted Lee's height. The Confederate flag and General Lee are at equivalent height showing that General Lee and the entire Confederate separation effort will only get as high as General Lee takes them. Also, it is important to note that many of the cheering Confederate soldiers' arms are reaching in an upward fashion as if they are attempting to raise themselves in the presence of their leader. The third Library of Congress image shown is an image of anti-grant propaganda released by Joseph Ferdinand Kepler on June 16, 1880. Though this image seems to take place during the Reconstruction Era, it still provides relevance on General Grant's reputation concerning Grant's alcoholism. General Grant can be seen on the image's right passing a broken sword saying third term imperialism to a one president James Garfield. This image reflects damaging implications on Grant's character as he is standing behind a tent apparently called Camp Bourbon and allude to Grant's drinking problems. The final image from the Library of Congress is a drawing by Thomas Wirth and John Cameron titled The Great American Tanner, released in 1868. We can almost immediately notice the anti-Lee implications concerning this specific image. General Grant, who is located at Images Center, being called the Tanner, is shown with sleeves rolled up revealing his triceps and biceps, giving the viewer a showing of Grant's power, metaphorically speaking. We see three Confederate generals toward the right side of the image. They look pathetic and weak compared to Grant, as they whine as Grant punishes them by tanning their hides comparing the Confederate generals to children who do not listen to their parents. Noticing the dialogue boxes above the characters' heads, specifically the box to the far left, it states, Here, General, 
is a couple more hides to be tanned. When will you think they will be done? As General Grant responds, Well, I'll finish them off early in November, referring to the Union that was close to victory.